Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Be Rising. This is an action asymmetric survival game with focus on gathering and crafting. Not as much building, there is building involved, which is quite enjoyable, but it's not something intense where you can go extremely creative, something like Minecraft or Valheim, where you can do some crazy stuff. Nothing like that. So, a lot of people compare it to Valheim, I would say they are completely wrong about that. This is more like a Diablo game without any story. Just hacking and slashing and killing things. Right, and then your main focus, I think, is killing bosses. There's quite a bunch of bosses in the game. I'll show you some later, and I'll go and kill one or two, just to show you how it works. Uh, just a quick disclaimer before I carry on. I've not played any PvP, only played a little bit of co-op. We've had a couple of issues with our save files. Now I see there are Steam saves, cloud saves, so it makes it most safer to keep these files, save files on your own PC. It shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but you always uh, get a dedicated server if you think that's an issue for you, or if you want to play with a lot of people at the same time. There's options for you. All right, let's get into it. Uh, so let's first look at some of the bosses over here. So there's a giant list. I don't want to spoil it too much. But there's some bosses I haven't even seen myself. Uh, when you first go out, you'll see they'll have powers and recipes and items they will drop for you. Well, more like unlock. So as soon as we go and track this guy, Ruthus, and if we kill him, the first time we will get these uh, powers and these structures will unlock for us. So in the beginning we started, we started with only a heart, and this heart we've expanded and built on by placing like, walls and floors and a bunch of other things. So, the main focus is like, track one of these bosses, you, you want some powers. A little bloodstream will pulse every now and again, showing the direction of where that boss is. As we can see, it is like, what is that, like southeast. And then we'll just follow this red line until we find him. So let's, let's see if we can find one of these guys out in the wild quickly. We can jump on a horse and go have a look. Okay, so I think he's around about this way. So I've played about, oh, there's some enemies here. These are weaklings, so I don't have to worry about them too much. Let's give them a smack. If obviously I'll have to get creative here, wouldn't I? Right, so you have a couple abilities, and as you can see, there's a feed mechanic here. Let's kill this one and let's see if we can feed on this guy. As you can see, he's 20%. What that means is the quality of his blood is 20%. So that's not bad, but it's kind of low. So, on 20% it'll unlock the first line of the use abilities. The higher the, the blood quality, the more of these effects will unlock, and the better quality of the blood is. So, if, every time you... Like, this is basically your life force as well. So when you get hit or damaged, you will have to uh, drink or mend your blood. Back there, I uh, took a little bit of damage. That will drop the blood you have. As you can see, I've got 9.3 liters left. And so, so your blood is not unlimited. But later on, there are ways so you, you can get more, sustain the quality and the type of blood that you have. In this instance, we killed a rogue. 
And this rogue has these abilities. Every enemy, every type, have different abilities. So you can find and kill and drain the blood of enemies that you that will match your playstyle. So that is very, very interesting. So, right, we're on the way again. I think it was this way. We were trying to get to one of those bosses and get these guys out of the way. Uh, let's have a look at the, the skills menu. You press J, a bunch of things that popped up. Um, when you start the game, most of these will be grayed out, like these little question marks. And the more bosses you go and kill, the more skills you will unlock. Um, so for blood, you've got most of these blood skills, most of the time you'll basically unlock these in, in this order because you are following a system of of difficulty um, so they'll look kind of similar if you get to my level um, well, let's see what I have here on here, I've got a little traverse skill so if, you, if I blink I can blink to, oh no, there's someone shady Gavin, there's a little boss dude we can see if we can deal with him We go. So I've just picked up some silver coins, and obviously we are vampires, so silver does burn us. So that's always fun. Um, okay, we were busy with our skills. So first we have is a veil of shadows. So we, we blink. There'll be a little explosion. We blink, and we have little red balls that we could throw, and some purple balls that we can throw. Obviously you can match and match every skill just by simply dragging them or clicking them like that. Let me just put my balls back. I think they're better. Yeah, okay. So we were on the way to kill one of these bosses. Let's get back on our horse. carry on. Uh, so the map is set. There's no change to it at the moment. Maybe in the future they'll like, change it up a bit, but if you start a new game, this is basically what you're gonna get. Let's just ignore that, whatever that was, for a second. don't know if I think I'm going in the right way. See a little pulse. Oh. There we go, that way. Right, uh, we have arrived close to where our boss is. So let's clear out some of these surrounding enemies so we don't have them involved in our fight. So let's get rid of, get rid of that guy. So there's 
There is our target, Rufus. Let's throw some ball this way. Black and hit. Go, smack him a little around. Don't get hit by the net. Where are you going, boy? He's trying to run for me. Ah, there we go. We have killed our first boss here. And when you kill him the first time, you will get his abilities. I think that was the Blood Rage spell that you unlock from this guy. And obviously, and also he does drop different items and you can smack some of these the rat always a good to have a rat and there's a chest let's open it up and we get some basic resources right all right that was one of the first bosses let's see if we can there's some more stuff here. Let's take all of that. Alright, yeah, another good mechanic in this game is the day-night cycle. Because you are a vampire, the sun burns you. And it sucks. As you can see there, it it's starting to hurt me. If I stay here longer, it will start to burn and I will start to take damage. So let's not do that. Because every time you take hits, obviously you're gonna lose some of your blood. It's not that's not good. So you wanna try and stick and run around in the shadows. Luckily here near our base, there's quite a bit of shadow, a bit of trees. Careful not to chop down the tree and stand in the sun, <laughs> which can be done. So you'll actually be chopping down a lot of trees and breaking a lot of stone. Because you are, it's a survival crafting gathering game, that is quite a lot of it. Especially if you want a nice castle, you're gonna need quite a bit of stone. Try and avoid the sun at all times. Right, and then we can take these resources and put them down inside of our sawmill. Let's do that. That'll start chopping it. We can put those rocks in the grinder. So each of these buildings have a couple of resources. You just put the items in there, for instance the stone, and it'll create the stone bricks and the stone dust for you. So you just have to put them in there and that'll do the work for you. Each of these buildings has can be upgraded in a sense by having them in your castle, having them in the right room, and having the right floor for that building. Though so I still have silver on me as well, so it's not a good thing. Let's put that in the chest somewhere. Got a bunch of chests over here. Any one of these will do. Put that silver in there. All right. Uh, I just want to show you a little bit of the building element of the game. So the buildings, it's quite easy. Let's have a little section here at the top that I can show you where I'm still working on. Right, so let's open our building. 
Cliff B, and from here you can build floors and walls, whatever you need. So we'll need some stone and some stone bricks and some planks. So let's just go gather that. Um, you can just gather that by chopping down the trees and putting them in the smelter, like I showed you. But I'm sure I have quite a bit of it somewhere. Let's see those grinders. There we go, yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. Take those. And let's take some of these planks. Right, so we can make some castle floors. Let's just put some castle floors down here. Let's click. Left click. And it places down. Um, I'm actually getting burnt at the moment, so we, let's fill up this wall here. Close it up. As soon as you close up a building like this, and you've placed down the floor, ah, try not to get burnt, it'll automatically put the roof on the building for you. Then you can go you know, play around, decorate it, put in windows. Oh, excuse me. That's so rude. Decorate the walls by painting them different colors, making them wooden. Changing the color, the design, curtains different colors and a lot of more that I'm not going to spoil and you can have a look yourself all right ladies and gentlemen um, I'm going to turn into a rat and then I'm going to tell you you should definitely check out this game I think it's really cool bunch of different if we don't get rudely interrupted, there's a bunch of mechanics and cool fun, and I'm sure for the price, there's a bunch of hours that you can enjoy in this game with your friends. Definitely check it out. Cool. I'll check you again next time. Thank you for watching.